Roar! Hey, everybody! Oh, <clears throat> had something in my throat. Hey, everybody, it's Matthew Reinhardt. It's another learning unit uh, for our prehistoric animals pop-up project. And um, this whole pop-up series of DIY pops, we can put together in a, in a book, like um, my Encyclopedia Prehistorica um, about dinosaurs. Um, I thought it'd be really cool if we could make our own pop-up book about prehistoric animals, uh, including dinosaurs. And today we're going to do one about a triceratops. Oh, triceratops are really cool. Let's learn a little bit about triceratops. So triceratops were um, herbivorous dinosaurs that lived in the Cretaceous period. So the Cretaceous period, when the triceratops lived, was noted for having a lot of volcanic activity. So lots of volcanoes blowing up everywhere. Um, and um, this Cretaceous period uh, lasted about 79 million years. And um, it went from 145 million years ago to 65 million years ago. Triceratops was a big ceratopsian dinosaur. In fact, um, it was about 30 feet long, and that's a, almost as long as a, a school bus. And it could weigh up to 12 tons. And that's almost, that's like, that's like two big elephants. That's one dinosaur you don't want to mess with. All right, let's get started. Let's make our pop-up of Triceratops. And you know what to do. Here's the drill. We got to download those templates. You're going to download them and you're going to print them on to any kind of cardstock you like. You got to use cardstock though, because that way the pop-up is a little stronger, any color you like. So let's print them out. You're going to see that there are two types of lines. There's a dotted black line and then a solid black line. Let's deal with those dotted black lines. We're going to score those lines by using a ruler and also using um, a large paper clip. And we're going to rub the edge of the paper clip along each one of those dotted lines, just like this. Just rub it along there, and you're going to press a little into the paper. And that's going to make it much, much easier for all these folds um, to happen when we're making our pop-ups. Because pop-ups pop need folds in order for me to make all those joints move, right? And now the next step is those solid black lines. What do we do? We got to cut them out. That's where we cut. Those solid black lines indicate where we cut out the um, different pop-up pieces. So use a pair of scissors. Use a nice pair of scissors that you like, that you're, you're comfortable with. And when you're, you know, going around those corners, instead of, you know, instead of moving your scissors along some of those lines, sometimes it's easier just to move the paper. So you can move the paper, get rid of the extras. And hey, if you want to even cut out this little fact sheet, you can do that too. Um, you don't have to. You can write your own stories to put on your um, pop-up. But let's cut out all the rest of these pieces here and just do it very carefully. Take your time. All right, now what we're going to do, we're going to pre-fold all the pieces. So let's pre-fold this base page. Now this, this piece here, we're going to fold this tab down here, fold this here, over right here. Let's fold these two tabs, like fold it like this, and fold it. And the reason why I'm doing this is I just want to let the um, paper know which way it's going to go, right? So we've already scored it. See how easy it is to fold those lines? Now we're just going to pre-fold it. So I'm just Doing this here. Oh, by the way, these are not my hands. I don't have a tattoo, unfortunately. Um, this is Kirsten. She's awesome. She helps me out sometimes. And um, let's see. Let's get this last piece. Let's fold this here and here. And, you know, this way, um, when we put everything together, the, the pieces are kind of going in the right way. We don't have any trouble assembling it. Now, what are we going to use to assemble this pop? We're going to use some just regular glue, some regular craft glue. You can use Elmer's glue. You can use any kind of glue like that. Um, and I always get one with a squirt bottle. I, I, I like to have like a good tip with it so that I can kind of squirt um, the, 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 paint, the, the glue, the paint, the glue into the, um, into the little gray areas that because we, we don't want to get glue everywhere. Okay, so let's start off. We're going to glue tabs A and B in place. And you can see on the base page here, there's little gray spots and they match up with the tabs. So we're gonna put it just within that gray area. And see how she just kind of paints it into that spot? It's just within that gray area. We're gonna fold these two tabs under and they're gonna align completely. See how, see how they line up and they fit within that spot? So you could just kind of fold it straight down like that. Push it into place. And make sure you build it nice and flat. Make sure it's flat and it fits on there. See how this works? Perfect. If you get a little extra glue, you can wipe it off with your finger. You wipe it off with a piece of paper. You're going to see, though, that, that C, oh, look at tab C, is going to fit exactly on where it says glue C here. 
All right, so we're going to put some glue down on that tab. Um, well, actually, we're going to put the glue on the gray area, and the tab's going to glue on top of it, just right in there. So we put it in there and tab C, and we just put that tab right down in place. There you go, just like that. Awesome. All right, it's glued in place. Now we're looking for tab D. There it is, tab D, and glue tab D there. So it glues up back on itself, just like that. See how that goes? It's gonna make a layer. Now this pop-up has tons of layers. It's all made of layers. I thought it would be fun to have like different types of mechanisms for each one of these prehistoric animal pops. And um, layers are really simple to learn, but um, because they're basically just flattened boxes. But I, I, I think it's fun to be able to use like different, focus on different mechanisms for different um, pops. We're gonna glue this dinosaur, it's actually gonna go right there in that spot. So let's glue it down. Just now we're just gonna put glue within this little box. See that, that part of the layer there? Just get it in that space. And then we're gonna put this triceratops back there. We, we, this pop-up is going to have like a herd or rather a family of Triceratops all together with a backdrop. There we go. See, now see how it's like a layer? So it's kind of like it's going to close like a box. Now let's glue tabs F and G in place. And look, they go right there. We're going to fold them down. But first we put some glue in place. You glue them just like that. Got a little quiet. Um, <laughs> glue F and G just like that in place. And what we're gonna actually do is we're gonna flop that whole piece back down once we once it's dried and glued in place. And look at that, it glues. There's see where H is. You're gonna see a big gray shape on the base page, and that's where that piece is gonna glue. Now, when you're gluing stuff, make sure you let it dry so that it's in the right place. Okay, let's get glue H tab here. So we're just gonna glue this. See that weird sort of barbell kind of shape? That's just gonna glue there. We're not gonna glue that extra little piece that flops up. So let's put some glue right in this area. Very good. Just in there. You wanna get glue everywhere. And this is, this is kind of like the forest that we're building around that first tricep. So we can get like some, so we can have like a little bit of a 3D space. You know what I'm saying? Now, let's glue down. We're gonna glue I right there. And that's where the bottom of that Triceratops. Oh, those are my hands. Because <laughs> we had to change something at the end. So those are my hands. Hi, my hands. I'm gonna glue the mom and um, baby Triceratops down right there. We had to change something at the end, so there, that's, that piece is technically called I. That, that dinosaur piece. Now, this piece here, glue, we're gonna fold it down first, right? And we're going to glue I here. See how that glues? It's gonna glue down, just like that, and look. I'm gonna put some glue, I'm gonna fold it up just like that. So you can see, see how that looks? So it's it's folded down and then I fold a little tab up. Oops, I almost lost my glue. Oopsie. All right, I'm gonna put some glue right in this tab just like that. Now, I'm gonna press it down. So see, I put the glue on the back of that tab. Now, look at that. See how that works? So those are all layers, like box layers, all working there together. And we have a whole scene. See how that looks from the top, from the side? See how that all should be working in your pop-up? And it goes right inside. And look at that. So now this is what the final pop-up looks like. Look at those, oh, it's a whole 
family of Triceratops. And now you can write a little story if you want to on the base. You can color it in, you can decorate it, you can do whatever you want and add this into your own prehistoric animal book. Oh my gosh, I love these Triceratops. I love the little family. Oh, I'm so cute. I'm like, I love you, mama. And the Triceratops mom was like, yeah, you're okay. No, no, she's, she, I love you too. All right, look at that. Oh my gosh, you've decorated it. And then eventually we're gonna glue all these together and make a full prehistoric animal book. You can put text in there, you can do whatever you wanna do. Hey, I hope you've enjoyed making this Triceratops box. This is Matthew Reinhardt saying, see you next time, there's more coming. And um, hey, if you like this video, be sure to hit like and subscribe. And if you wanna see more, um, be sure to let me know down in the comments what else you'd like to see pop up. And um, hey, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.